with the goal to push us out of Oakland, but this is our Oakland. And so the Anti-Police Terror Project, what we're about is not being reactionary, but about being visionary. It was formed out of the Honest Organizing Committee, and after a couple of years of bringing people in the streets repeatedly after the police killed us, we realized that we were no better than some of these attorneys out here chasing dead bodies. We weren't actually doing anything that was changing the dynamic. Police terror doesn't happen in our communities once every 12 days, it happens every single day. Right, from racial profiling, to harassment, to extortion, to beating, to rape, to all of the different ways that they assault, intimidate, kill, torment, and incarcerate us. Right, the sweep that they're doing in, in mass to fulfill Libby's promise of ending crime by any means necessary. But we're talking about ending police terror by any means necessary. And the only way that we do that is if we're doing the grunt work, right? We're out in the streets, we're talking to our neighbors, we're doing that a little bit later today. Our big campaign right now is for Yvette Henderson, 38-year-old mother of four, grandmother of two, who was gunned down with an AR-15 in broad daylight. And so we're pushing a specific command, uh, excuse me, specific demand to end military weapons um, and, and, and um, military weapons and materials within our communities. So today, after I leave here, I'm going to go door knock for about five hours to have a conversation, because regardless of your politics, no matter far, how far right or how far left you are, most people have a problem with mothers being gunned down the streets with military-grade weapons, right? And these are the points of organizing that we need to identify and move on and push hard so we can build this movement. Because talking to each other isn't going to work. We've got to find a way to talk to those people who don't think that this impacts them and make this not a black or brown issue only. This is a human rights issue. So we meet the third Wednesday of every month at Eastside Arts Alliance. Everybody is welcome, 730. We hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. It's, it was great to be here with you all today. Right on, y'all. Give it up for Miss Cat Brooks one more time. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. She dropped a lot of knowledge real fast on us, real quick. Brown folks, we got to step it up, man. We got to show up. We got to show up. We got to show up. All right?